welcome to today's paper space tutorial. My name is James and I'll be your host for the talk today about deploying a model to production with gradient deployments using a private Docker registry. For this example, we're going to be working with one of the most popular places to store Docker images, Docker Hub. As a default, you should know that any user is capable of using publicly stored Docker images on Docker Hub with gradient. While publicly available Docker images can still be very useful, Private companies, research teams, et cetera, for example, may need a more secure way to keep their proprietary images private, but still need it to be accessible for whatever needs they have, like accessing a virtual machine. Open up Docker Hub in your browser and log in. Once you've done so, go ahead and click on Create a Repository, and you'll be taken to the prop, uh, Repository Create page. Users with the most basic account can only make one, so if you already have a private repository, you may need to delete it, but otherwise give your repo a name, uh, check the private and create your own. Here's mine, which I've created for this example. It's uh, at paperspace hyphen private. I've shared a, a simple flask app on here that will print hello world at the index when you run it as a deployment on gradient. And we're going to use that as our example today. Now that we've set up our registry, open up the gradient console and go to the team of your choice. So it's in the console and I'm gonna work in my private workspace for now. Once you've done so, go up to the top right and click team settings. This is where we can change the settings for his team. Navigate to the container bar to add a new container registry and click add a new container registry. Name your registry whatever you want. I'm going to be naming mine private flask demo. Uh, the URL should just be defaulted to index.docker.io slash v1 to make sure that that's correct. Then for your repository, put your tag in following docker.io. Finally, put in your login information for Docker and click Create. Make sure to keep track of that name because you are going to need it in a moment, so go ahead and copy it. Now that that's done, go ahead and click up here on Gradient to re-enter into the console and go into a project of your choice within the same team that we just added the container registry. Then navigate to the Deployments tab and select Create a New Deployment. In this first bit here, you'll see this link, Upload a Deployment Spec. Within the pop-up window, go ahead and remove all of this text and replace it with some similar to this. First, I have my image, which is my private Docker registry with the tag of choice that I want to run in this deployment. I've got my container registry that we just named earlier, the port I want this to be available from, and some parameters about how about how the deployment should launch. <clears throat> Once that's all done, go ahead and name your deployment however you want and select Create Deployment. It'll immediately redirect you to the deployment's details page and you can see here we have the link to our endpoint. Once it's done building, Select the link, and we can see that our Flask app prints Hello World and our deployment was successful. As you can see, setting up a private Docker registry to connect with Gradient is a very simple process, and it really enables us to interact with these hidden images with ease. I hope you found this guide helpful, and thank you so much for listening.